Made in Hollywood. Compositors digitally combine many separate pieces of artwork into one final image. Eric Tillman's graduated with a degree in film and video from Columbia College, Chicago. Mr. Tillman's has served as a compositor on all three Kung Fu Panda movies. Jason Stovall studied computer graphics and visual effects from the Art Institute of California, Los Angeles. Mr. Stovall began his career as a graphic artist and designer prior to becoming a compositor in the field of animation. Hi, I'm Eric Tillman's. I'm the head of compositing. And I'm Jason Stovall, compositor. You're watching Made in Hollywood. And here's a scene from Kung Fu Panda 3. If you only do what you can do, you will never be more than you are now. I like who I am. You don't even know who you are. What is compositing? What does a compositor do? The easy answer is just that it's taking uh, dissimilar elements and putting them together. So the easiest is like a TV weatherman, where he's on a green screen, and then later they put in a map behind him. That's the simplest. We're just taking one person and putting it in front of an image. What we do is a lot more complex than that, where you've got many, many, many layers, and you're putting it all together to deliver the final frame in the film. I was an ambitious young warrior leading a great army. So in the tradition of the first two Kung Fu Panda movies, we decided to use some traditional stylized 2D animation, and they really wanted to continue kind of that feel of, you know, breaking out of the CG and telling a backstory. And so in that same vein, there was an opportunity in Kung Fu Panda 3 to use the 2D as a way to tell the backstory of Ugwe and Kai, and how they used to be partners and friends in battle. And I actually have a really good breakdown of this first shot here. So this will show us all the different layers that are involved. So Ugwe drops down, and we start pulling away all these pieces that we use to build up the shot. As you can see here, this is basically a Photoshop file. Many layers built up that the art department delivers to us, exactly how they'd like it to look. So we have a great reference for what the final image should look like. So that as you move a camera, when you, even if you move your head in space as you look at objects, things in the background move slower than things in the foreground. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to simulate that in camera by breaking up these Photoshop files, pushing them back naturally. One day, we were ambushed. I was badly wounded. My friend carried me for days looking for help. What other personal qualities and characteristics do you think young people need if they really want to succeed at this job? I think for young kids, I have, I have two boys, seven and nine, and what we do is all about photography, it's all about art, it's all about color, it's all about these things that they have the technology now on their tablets to make little movies, so go make little movies. You know, what inspires you? What, when you're watching films, Take note of what you like about the film, what you didn't like about the film, because taste is also a big thing too when you go through this, because you're making a decision of what's going to go on screen. You kind of have to work on what is aesthetically pleasing to you and kind of harness where your taste lies. Uh, who are you? I'm Li Shan. I'm looking for my son. What are the most important skills that they really need to be good at for this job? Well, what you touched on, having a good sense of taste, they always say the best writers read a lot. I think to do this job, you need to see a lot of films, you need to play a lot of video games, you need to immerse no, yourself really. in like the visual medium and yeah. see what gets people going, because that changes through time. I mean, it's, it's fast moving in both the technology, but also the aesthetics, and you need to know if someone says, oh, I want this to look like a Sergio Leone film, then you have to be like, oh, I, I know what that is and start delivering like an Italian spaghetti western and not have to go to Google and try to catch up. I hope you find your son. And I hope you find your father. <laughs>